This is a cardiac ultrasound. Oh, there's only two clips to QA. Um, this is the LV RV here. And then you see this um, heterogeneous, mostly anechoic finding here. Um, this is either a very large fat pad or a pericardial effusion. Um, hard to tell if this is a pericardial effusion or not, just because I think this is the descending aorta here. And I can't tell if this is um, the uh, atrium of the heart, whether left or right, or if this is a continuation of the um, echogenic material. It's hard to tell based on this one view. This is saved here, um, and though it looks really fast, it is not VTAC or VFib. It's just that this is a one second clip, and when it reviews, it looks really fast. And again, you see that um, uh, anechoic finding here that to me, um, if I had to guess, is a pericardial effusion. Um, but I wanted to make this, um, this video just to illustrate that I think it's a limited study. I don't think you could safely say that there is or is not a pericardial effusion. Um, if I had to guess, I would say it is a pericardial effusion, um, but it's tricky just based on this view and this view here. So, um, hope this video helps. Um, to look for a pericardial effusion, really the best view is the sub xiphoid view. Um, the challenge is if someone's getting uh, CPR or getting bagged, um, the stomach fills with air and that makes it challenging to see um, because you have this pocket of air um, in the stomach. To try to counteract that, you can move the probe a little bit more towards the patient's right, use the liver as a window, but I understand that can be challenging. So, hope this helps. Um, thanks for saving.